Okay, so y'all already know that I do prison content, but I don't want that to be the only thing that I do. Like, I will get bored, I will run out of stories, like, I've got to break it up a little bit. So, I'm going to tell one of the most fucked up stories that I have from the years and years that I've done using meth. Also understand that when I say that, I mean that in past fucking tense. Like, I have years of sustained recovery under my belt right now. I am a recovery coach, a peer support specialist, and a smart recovery facilitator. Like, I work in the recovery field, but I'm still gonna tell some fucked up using stories once in a while because I have a lot of problems still, deeply. Big fucking black fucking hearted problems. And my imaginary legal counsel has advised me to give this disclaimer. Do not try this at home, boys and girls. This is fucked up and it's stupid as fuck. It's just a bad idea. It's just, God, don't even listen to this story. This story's fucking terrible. God damn it, why am I doing this? But if you're a little lot fucked up in the head like I am, you're probably gonna enjoy it. Look, I know that a lot of normies think that drug dealing is fucking easy and it's just like free fucking money, but anybody who spent more than five minutes in the presence of an actively using fucking tweaker knows that that's complete and total horse shit. Just imagine dealing with those people all day, every day. Even though I was one of those people, it still got vexing as fuck. Now, if you do know anything about tweakers, you understand that everybody has their own little tweak, like something that they will hyper fixate on, like obsessively. Some people car carpet surf they think that there's shards of meth in the carpet and they're trying to find that that one shard that they dropped like two years ago that they can fucking put in their fucking pipe and smoke some people like to pick their fucking face some people even think that shards are growing out of their face because they do so much meth that it's starting to grow out of their skin and come out of their pores and they start trying to pick it and see if they can put it back in the pipe and smoke it and they're really just smoking pimple juice or whatever the fuck dead skin it's gross i don't like it Ew. no that's not my tweak my tweak has always been either blowing glass or committing atrocious felonies. Blowing glass was something that I could do for hours and hours and hours. And it turns out that I had a real affinity for breaking meth pipes, so it was good that I could replace my own at any time. Now that you've chewed and digested that lovely morsel of information, we can get into the rest of this story. So one day I got a call that some people needed some dope, but they also requested a very long meth bong stem. So a meth pipe is like, it looks kind of like a dick with balls at the end. You know what I'm saying? That's why people call them glass dicks. Sucking on the old glass dick. It's just a round bulb at the end of a fucking stem. A meth bong stem just basically goes up and then down at an angle and has that same bulb. It's just so that you can put it in a bong and fucking... <laughs> this was kind of a weird request to get a really long bong stem. So I was like, what the fuck's going on? And the dude told me, we're making a meth bong out of this chick's vagina. What? We're doing, we're doing what? I didn't know that this was possible. I didn't want to know that this was possible. I didn't want to imagine that this shit was fucking possible, but it was. So I jumped on my fucking torch and I made a long ass bong stem because as much as I didn't want to see this, I wasn't going to not see it. I wasn't going to not be a part of it. Are you fucking kidding me? This was like a once in a lifetime thing. A pussy meth bong? Fuck, bro. I'm at least going to watch. I'm probably not going to hit it, but I'm at least going to watch. Let's figure this shit out. I made the stem. I weighed the bag. I went over there and where I was going was this giant like three or four story dilapidated apartment complex that had shared bathrooms, like communal bathrooms, showers, toilets. The rooms were just tiny little fucking studios, right? Everything was run the fuck down. Every single person there was either an active addict or an active drug dealer. It was just coming and going. It was constant motion. It was chaos. It was kind of beautiful in that fact. It's like a giant, filthy, festering shit show of a fucking hostel for people on hardcore narcotics. So, I mean, naturally, I was there often to sell drugs. I went into this bitch with absolute tunnel vision. Swerve someone here, swerve someone there. I was fucking focused because I knew that I needed to get to this room and see what the fuck this shit was going to be about. I wanted to be able to tell this story someday and... Here the fuck we are! When I got to the room, it was the usual suspects. It was a bunch of people that I knew. I knew the girl who was going to be performing as the 
vessel and everything was fucking chill, right? So I pulled out my scale. I showed him what was up on the scale. I pulled my fucking bong stem out of the backpack and I was like, here. And they're like, that'll do. Now, as someone who does not currently and has never possessed a vagina, I would think that there would be some sort of convincing that needed to happen here. I was expecting there to be like some type of pep talk or something. This chick was down. She was about about this shit. Like, I understand just from my limited biological experience that a vagina is a delicate thing it has like ph balances and there's a lot of bad shit that can happen if you fuck that up but she did not give a flying half a fuck about any of that shit she was like get that bong stem in me so she did this weird ass shimmy where she was like on the bed and she kind of leaned herself off went down to where she was standing on her head and her fucking vagina was up in the air with her legs kind of spread it was definitely some shit it was some shit that some shit for sure God damn it. Why am I telling this story? Fuck. <laughs> My buddy ended up using Gatorade, not water, for this vagina bong. There was actual Gatorade poured into this woman and used as fucking bong water, right? He put the bong stem in. He fucking dumped some meth in the bong, lit the torch. He fucking stuck a straw in her as well. So it was really more of a hookah or a bubbler than a vagina bong, but vagina bong just has that ring to it, homie. Hmm, maybe... Vajuka? Vagina hookah? No, no. Vagina bong. Forget I said that. It's a vagina bong for fuck's sake. He takes the first hit and he blows a fucking plumer. Like a real life huge fucking dragon cloud of fucking meth smoke. Then he looks at me and he goes, you want next? I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. No, I just, I'm... I'm watching. I'm an observer here. I'm not going to participate. Nah, I'm straight on the vagina bong. I'm cool. I look down at her and I'm like, honey, are you okay? Like, is everything straight? She looks up at me and she's like, I'm fucking fine, daddy. The fuck? A couple other people hit this motherfucking thing and I was just astounded. Like, I didn't leave. I knew I had money to make. I had other sales to drop, but I just could not fucking stop watching this. This was like a car wreck on the side of the freeway and everybody slows the fuck down and it's backing traffic up for like 30 miles, but you just can't stop when you get there. You're like, when I get there, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna be one of these assholes because there's people behind me trying to get places, but then you get there and you're like, holy fuck, is that brains? I don't know if this was an original moment in history. I have never heard of anybody doing it before, and I've never heard of anybody doing it fucking after. This might have been an authentic moment where we broke the fucking mold using meth and a vagina and some glass and a plastic straw and some Gatorade, too. I don't know. This might have been the only time this ever motherfucking happened. So, of course, I had to watch. Sadly, a few months later, this monument of human achievement of a trap apartment complex was torn down by the city wrongfully because they called it a drug nuisance. Can you imagine? <laughs> they thought that it was going to do something to get rid of the drug problem in this fucking town. Like, let's get these people out of here. We'll just tear down this apartment complex and everything will be better. All you did was disperse everyone. Then I had to go to multiple different fucking apartment complexes, multiple different abandos, multiple different fucking hotels. Everybody just spread out so it was harder for y'all to keep track of them. Dumb motherfuckers. At least when they were all in one place, they were easier to contain. But I ain't law enforcement, so that shit ain't my problem. And I know and understand completely in my heart of hearts, this is a video that no one ever fucking asked for. But if you watched it, good for you. You're my fucking people. You're probably fucked up just like me. And if you have any questions, comments, anything that you want me to do a video on, as always, hit the fucking comments below. Subscribe if you feel like it. Like, there's going to be a lot more fucked up weird videos, a lot more prison content, some recovery content, some using content, some crime content. Pretty much anything that crosses my stupid little ADHD mind content. But, hey, I like it, so you might too. Y'all be good or be good at it. One love.